Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. Today we're going to talk about making money. What's that? What's money? I know, right? Today we're going to talk about making money in the Philippines. So, people ask. Actually, I'm going to do a video on jobs. Jobs online that you do in the Philippines. I don't have that. But today we're going to talk about saving your coins. Saving money in the Philippines. Can you save money in the Philippines? And the answer is yes. Because of the lifestyle? Uh, no. Because of living here? Uh, no. <clears throat> can you save by living here? You can in some circumstances. But honestly, a lot of people that are coming here, their houses are paid off anyway. And the things that they have to worry about, their taxes and their insurance and their cars and all the other stuff. Yes, you can save there. You can save by going to the dentist here. You can save by going... Sometimes the doctor here, depending on the doctor. And what I mean by that is, is we already discussed this on having uh, a doctor available and where you go. But today we're going to talk about saving your coins and putting your coins in a bucket. Recently, Ruth and I started saving our coins. The reason why I'm talking about coins is this. Coins add up fast. You don't think about this. Take a bucket, take a five-gallon bucket, start saving your coins. You'll be thankful that I'm telling you this. Coins sometimes, you don't think about it, but coins sometimes gives you the availability that uh, you did better because going to the market and buying food, a lot of times a lot of vendors don't have change and you got to wait for the change and they're digging around every other vendor to get change and they have problems sometimes getting change. A tricycle will almost guarantee never, never, rarely has change. Riding a multicab, riding the bus, you're going to need change riding the up, uh, uh, actually, if you're going somewhere like in a taxi, uh, because they require, a lot of times it starts out at 40 peso, and if you're just going down the road, it may be, I'm just going to say 80 peso or 90 peso, and you give them 100. There are times where Ruth and I, digging around, they did not have a 20 peso to give us change back. Why? I have no idea. But it happens sometimes that you, I, I wonder what, what, what happens with the change. Well, they're living life. And maybe they wouldn't have breakfast on that 20 peso, whatever. But many taxis, many restaurants, I don't care if you go to a restaurant, they never have change. And too, how what I do is always leave change on the table for whomever's left, plus either 50 or 100 or 200 peso or whatever. There are times where I give everybody in a restaurant uh, that worked at that Ollie's 100 peso each. Uh, because you know what? They're struggling like everybody else. It's $2. It does add up. But it's a simple thing in life compared to helping someone. Uh, but the coins do add up. Ruth and I, the other day, we started saving our coins. And we started adding up these coins. And you don't really realize how much it adds up. You can easily add up to 80 bucks in coins. And there are times where a lot of people will dig around and the only thing they have is coins. And they'll give that back to you. But very rarely you find someone that has coins. Uh, there are times where... Uh, there's many businesses here, and as you know, I might be the first customer today, and it's 3 in the afternoon. They've been there since 8 that morning. So they're dependent upon that money to survive, and most of the time it won't have change to give back to you. So saving your coins is very important here, and you can save money with coins. You can save money with coins. Don't think that you can't save money with coins. A simple thing like coins is a simple thing. Even me in U.S., I had gathered up coins, I call it my vacation money, the blue jugs that they have here, I filled it up with coins, and uh, I took it to the bank, uh, one container of that, and I had $2,000 in there. So uh, that was my money that I had, my pocket money coming here. We sometimes don't realize how quick it does that up, it does that up. They have the new 20 peso coin. It's just a gold uh, in the middle and copper on the outside, but it's really beautiful coin. And that's new. If you get those, save those as much as possible. If you see those around, even if they haven't been until, ask, hey, can I buy that? Can I give you 20 peso for that? Uh, because I, I think that those are uh, short supply. And But really, overall, it's, uh, coins, and of course, if you can throw a 20 in there where the coins are every once in a while, people tend to grab the 20s and the 100s out of the coin drawer all the time. And leave the coins because people don't want to mess with coins. Ruth, sometimes I will give my coins to Ruth, and then she'll come home after a week or two or three and dump a purse and take the 
200, 100, 500 pesos, whatever in coins he has, and throw in a container. And that's how we do our savings. And that's our, our savings for whatever we want. We'll get around money, say she wants to buy an outfit or whatever. And we save that for a period of time. And then we, uh, once it gets kind of full, we'll fill it up at, or empty it and count it and I let her purchase whatever she wants to purchase. She does anyway, but this is our extra money that we have around the house that in case someone comes at the gate and they need, uh, you know, for food or something, we'll give them those coins. And so we started saving these coins, and it's amazing how fast all that adds up. It adds up very fast. People don't think about it, but coins can be a savings. Another thing that you can save on if you're really, really good at saving is, is taking your 20s, uh, 20 pesos, do the same thing with that and put that in a jug also. Ruth uh, and I did that for a while, but we tended, we dipped into it a lot. And so you kind of have to be careful of that. Also, when you're out and about, keep your coins in one pocket and your dollar bills in another. Keep the 20s. Steve Montelli did a video on this and a shout out for him for that. And he fold the 20s a certain way, fold the 50s a certain way, uh, fold the hundreds a certain way, and then your thousands keep somewhere else. And then that way, and always keep uh, three, four, five, six hundred peso, maybe up to a thousand peso in one hundreds and fifties and twenties, because it's amazing how fast that that is easy. You start opening up your wallet in public, and if they see even ten twenties in there, they're gonna go, uh, people go, oh wow. Oh, he's got he's got a lot of money. So you have to be careful with showing your money. I always carry a money clip and I carry a wallet. My wallet has a major source of funds. My money clip has the 20s and the 50s and the 100s. And a change, Ruth always has a change. I don't carry any change. So if someone wants change, we need change to get the Ruth. Of course, Ruth always has money anyway. And uh, it's something that she does too. She, she will keep her 20s in a certain spot and her 50s and 100s. So it's easy to grab. So people don't really see a lot of that. So always remember, keep your coins in a safe place and in a pocket, a certain pocket that you can reach to and give out somebody five peso or five, literally peso or five peso unit or 10 peso unit, whatever you want to give. We do that. And there's a reason for that. Showing your money that even Filipino don't do that. Nobody shows money here. And they have money. They keep it in a bag. They always have a fanny pack or a bag. And they'll, even women, they'll thumb through the purse. Men will have a fanny pack or a bag. And they'll dig in there and get the change out. They will not pull out a wad of cash and, and then flip through it for 20. Here's 20. As they're flipping through it, they won't do that. In U.S., it's normal. People just pull it out. Here's, here's 100 or whatever, whatever. And, and do that. And that's normal. But here, don't do that. You don't want to set yourself up. I want to thank everybody for always watching. I hope this video helps. It, hopefully it helps some. God bless everybody and thank you so much. And thank you for always coming on our videos.